Welcome, Gun Runner. When you look back on the history of Atari, it's littered with interesting consoles and computers that never saw the light of day. There's the 32-bit Panther, the 1450 XLD computer, the holographic Cosmos handheld, and the Vulcan Microbox. But without doubt, the most mysterious and alluring of them all is the Atari Mirai. I'm the Laird, and I bring you the story of Atari's forgotten 16-bit console. Now, before we get started, I should tell you that there are three very distinct schools of thought on the Mirai, and nobody has ever managed to prove any of them correct. Sadly, we may never know the full truth, as former Atari Corp CEO Jack Trammell passed away in April 2012, just before he was due to conduct a warts and all interview on his time running the Sunnyvale based company. So what I will do is go through each of these scenarios and leave you to decide which one you think is the most credible. The first theory is that the Mirai was going to be an Atari badged home version of the SNK Neo Geo arcade hardware. To analyse this further we first have to look at the timeline as one thing we do know is that the Mirai dates from around 1987 to 1988. This is actually quite noticeable from the styling, not, not just because it features those pastel colours that were so popular around that time, but also because it closely resembles another Atari console released during that period, the XE game system. It's also well known that this was the exact time the Neo Geo hardware was in development too. This theory is more than just circumstantial though. Around this time the Trammell family had formed a close friendship with the Brone family, who controlled the North American branch of SNK. Their offices were extremely close together, and the relationship saw SNK's hit arcade game, Arkari Warriors, converted to both the Atari 2600 and 7800 consoles. It's rumoured that their cooperation went much further than this though, with SNK approaching Atari to release the home version of the Neo Geo due to their larger market share and distribution channels. Also see the deal with Sega for an Atari badge Genesis console that I previously covered in one of my videos, as this will make more sense. Another interesting point that adds even more weight to this theory is that the cartridge slot on the Mirai appears to be just the right size for a Neo Geo cartridge, far bigger than one found on any of Atari's own consoles. But perhaps most intriguingly of all, the word Mirai actually means future in Japanese, and no other Atari sh machines were named in this way, with them very much being an American company. Advocates for this version of events believe that the subsequent falling out between the two families both the Barones and the Trammels were known for being hard to deal with, put paid to this deal and SNK simply went off on their own and produced the Neo Geo AES instead. The next scenario is a much more obvious one, and one that probably holds the most weight, well, in my opinion anyway, and this positions the Mirai as a console version of the best-selling Atari ST computer. So let's look at the facts behind this theory. Firstly, the aforementioned timeline fits with the 16-bit computer first coming out in 1985, and reports of an ST-based console starting to circulate in the press around 1987. Secondly, we go back to the styling once again. The design of the Mirai certainly fits in with both the XST and XE range of machines, and very much looks like a big brother of the XE game system. Lastly, it's worth mentioning these press reports again, as many of the mags at the time were talking about the rumour of an Atari ST console. This idea was reportedly shelved fairly quickly when the engineers at Atari realised that the ST hardware just wasn't well suited for the design of a games console, and began work on the unreleased Atari Panther instead. The short-lived nature of the ST console would also make sense for the Mirai, given that only a shell exists with no internal hardware. The plot thickens further. The last theory of all isn't really that interesting, it just suggests that the Mirai wasn't actually anything at all. It was just nothing more than a design idea. Several ex-Atari employees have lent weight to this idea too, but none of those would have been involved in a project like the Mirai anyway, so this should probably be taken with a pinch of salt. You have to ask yourself why Atari would bother creating such an expensive and intricate mock-up at a time like this, when they were known for being extremely economical with their cash. There were no 3D printers or the like back then to make things easy, remember? For me, this is where this theory th falls apart as I just can't see Jack Trammell throwing away money like that. So was the mysterious Mirai an Atari badge Neo Geo, a consoleized version of the Atari ST, or just the pipe dream of a fanciful designer? 
please let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching the mysterious story of the Atari Mirai. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, then please make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and, have, and head on over to my Patreon to get exclusive access to yet more content. See you all again very soon. Bye bye.